Eid al-Fitr is one of the most important Muslim festivals. But this year, it's being celebrated under the shadow of a global pandemic. In Indonesia, there were no hugs, no bearing gifts, and no visiting families. The world's largest Muslim country has one of Southeast Asia's highest number of COVID-19 infections and deaths. Worshippers were barred from offering prayers inside mosques and open fields. I've resigned myself. I performed Aid prayers in the midst of the plague of COVID-19, only resigned to Allah. Hopefully Allah will lift up this disease. In Saudi Arabia, the Grand Mosque in the holy city of Mecca was largely empty. Worshippers followed strict social distancing measures while marking the end of the fasting month of Ramadan. Mosques across the kingdom are closed for prayers. In Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, prayers were allowed outside the gates of Islam's third holiest site. While in Gaza, mosques were reopened for the second time in two months since the lockdown was imposed. Health officials sanitized the premises and gave masks to people entering them. We are taking all the necessary measures so people can safely practice their prayers. The preventive measures that the Ministry of Health instructed include masks. Each person should bring their own praying carpet, each one at least a meter apart between the worshippers. People are happy that they can pray inside the mosques after a long break, especially on this day of Eid al-Fatr. In Pakistan too, the faithful congregated but sacrificed some of the age-old traditions. We couldn't celebrate this Eid as we used to do in previous years because of coronavirus and social distancing. We couldn't even hug our friends or handshake with them. In Syria, Eid this time comes during a rare period of peace, but during an economic turmoil. This Eid is considered the calmest one as there is no bombardment. Thanks be to God, the situation is calm. I hope that the displaced will now return to their homes. It's been a different kind of Eid, but the solemn prayers of love, comfort and healing still resonate for many in these unprecedented times. Priyanka Gupta, Al Jazeera.